Hi guys, Urban UDC here again. Uh, this time I'm doing a review on this bag. I don't have any new knives. I don't know if I'll be getting many more in the future, so it might be just gear reviews and stuff like that, but hopefully you guys like it. Uh, what you're looking at here is a clone of the uh, Sotec Go Bag. Sotec was the original company who made these type of bags. Um, uh, it's pretty much the same, except the Sotec bag doesn't have these pockets right here on the outside. But we'll get more into the features later. Uh, County Com also sells a variation of this bag, which is also a clone of the uh, Sotec Go bag. And it also doesn't have these pockets here. But anyways, I found this one on eBay uh, from a, like a Hong Kong airsoft company. And they sell these these uh, clone go bags. They actually say that this bag was in the movie Transformers. I don't know about that. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. But whatever. Uh, the bag is the bag is pretty cool. So the main purpose that I use this bag for is a uh, like a get home bag. Pretty much, I leave this bag in my car for emergency, just in case you know I get stuck somewhere, run out of gas and I need a few supplies that would make my stay more comfortable and so I pretty much just keep this in my car and it has a lot of like uh, emergency supplies that I find would be useful so let's get into a review of the bag alright so it's about uh, 28 inches tall and maybe about I would say 6 inches wide maybe and about the same uh, deep. So it's it's a really really uh, slim bag. Okay, and uh, basically this this bag comes with uh, many compartments, which is one of the reasons why I decided to get it. Cause the uh, Sotec clone, uh, I mean the sorry the Sotec Go bag and the County Com ones don't have these additional pockets on the side, and I kind of like that. But um, it's kind of up to you what you like. Okay, so let's take a look at the main compartment. So the main compartment is located here. So it's a sling. There's only one shoulder strap, and, but it's pretty thick. And it's decently padded, so it's pretty comfortable. The only major gripe that I have about it is this part right here, when you wear it, kind of digs into the side of your neck because it's so thick. But if you're wearing like a sweatshirt or something, you won't even notice it. And it's, it's pretty comfortable. I don't know how long I would want to wear this bag, especially if I was hauling maybe like 20 pounds of stuff in here, but this is pretty light because I don't have that much stuff in here, so it's okay for me. Alright, so to get to the main compartment, you unhook the shoulder strap. So this comes up like this. I don't have a tripod, so I'm trying my best not to keep it too shaky. Um, but this is the main compartment right here. Okay. Uh, I added this myself. I use this as a lock, so I can hook it up to this piece right here and then uh, it pre pretty much locks it into place but anyways so uh, it's two zippers they come down and then you get into your main compartment the velcro on top okay so the main compartment right here as you can see it's like I said it's probably about six inches deep maybe like six inches wide and it's 28 inches uh, tall my measurements might be a little bit off but it's it's about that it's it's a huge rectangle and you see the part where it has cardboard in? I actually added this so that it gives the pack uh, more shape to it. Uh, but you're supposed to be able to fit like a hydration bladder in here. But honestly, it, it probably would fit the width of it. But it's kind of tight. There's not much room. There's not much room to actually like, if, it, if your water bladder was full, I don't know if you could actually stick it all the way in there. Uh, some people on the forum said that they had this problem where they couldn't get the a filled up uh, hydration bag in here so I, I, I personally think I don't really think it would work either unless you had like a really small like a, like a one liter then 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 it might fit okay but that's pretty much it to the main compartment there's a sleeve so uh, I don't know if you can find your own use I just use it as a like a frame holder so it gives the bag uh, more shape alright so that's the main compartment and then uh, let's go outside. So the outside of the bag, it has these three small pouches. Pouches are uh, probably about four inches tall, 
and maybe like uh, you can see they're like two inches deep okay but these little pockets are pretty useful um, what I do is I, I keep like um, my like personal kit like you know little bottles of sunscreen and stuff and other other things that I might use I also keep like my personal medication and um, some other like uh, multi tools and stuff uh, in each of these pouches so that's pretty useful because it can help divide up your gear uh, depending what you want you can I also have a pair of like binoculars in here and I can also put my camera in here okay so yeah these pouches come in uh, pretty handy uh, another nice feature about the bag is there's these uh, molly straps so there's three here blank spot here and then three again on the bottom and that's the same for both sides so the other side of the bag also has the three and then the three okay and the final uh, thing that I like about this pouch is um, underneath or on the sides of the bag are these two uh, these two pockets so you have one pocket right in here it's just a side pocket and there's not much depth to it I mean it does go all the way down here but there's not much uh, it doesn't go that way it's just like a like a sheet pocket or whatever I don't know what you call it but anyways there's another one right here and uh, I can also put in like um like a toothbrush and stuff you know smaller items that are maybe kind of long that wouldn't fit into these then I'll put in here and then um there's uh, two zippers on this pouch on these pouches too so these two pockets are also repeated on the other side too and they have these like a uh, rain flaps or whatever the whole thing is made out of a uh, cordura nylon so it's pretty sturdy um, when I got it uh, there weren't any real imperfections with the sewing or anything so the quality was pretty good and I don't know if I mentioned this but I got this for uh, for thirty dollars so I thought it was I, th I, th I thought it was a pretty neat bag uh, the reason why uh, they call this a go bag I, I think it was originally intended when um, troops were like uh, like in their Humvees and stuff and there wasn't a lot of room for the big packs so what they would do is since these are so like rectangular and small they also have these uh these uh what you call it I don't know straps haul straps I think they're called hauling straps but anyways yeah they have these so you can you know store the bag like this and just shove them into your car and then when you need to go you just yank this and pull it out and so it's like an extraction bag uh, on the bottom you notice there's drain holes for each of these little pow pow pockets so that's cool and there's a, also a, a drain hole for the main the main large pouch and on the bottom the hull strap here is velcroed in which is good so like when you're wearing it and stuff it won't snag on anything un unless you really need to use it because pretty much the only hull strap you're going to be using is the one on the top okay so for adjustments um, for the main strap you know you can adjust it down here okay and then there's also a, uh, another one up here but actually you know what I think this top strap is for is for your rifle or your gun cuz um when you have your sling to your rifle or gun uh, you, d you detach this cuz this is connected up here anyways this strap is connected it's sewn right there anyway so I don't see why you would need this so I think this is actually for your rifle cuz when you sling this over your shoulder um, some of the rifles they have this detach point which is you know the female end of that and then you pretty much you just strap this you know onto your rifle if you if you have a rifle sling you probably know what I'm talking about but I think that's what that's what this is for so I don't know if you like to go hunting or if you play airsoft or something I think that's what this is for okay and um, yeah I think that's it um, oh the the variation so the Sotec bags uh, like I said, they don't have this, these three pouches, but instead what they have is they have the molly straps, like, all the way around. So it's more, uh, adjustable. Like, if you buy your own pouches, you could put them anywhere, because the molly straps, they would go all the way around. So that's, that's, I think, the main difference between this bag and the SoTech Go bag. Alright, um, Cutlery Lover also, he bought the County Com bag. I saw it in one of his previews, so I'm waiting for him to do a review on his bag, and hopefully this will motivate him. Alright, hope you guys like the bag. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment. Thanks, see ya.